everybody, it's Jill with Angel Creations. Welcome back to my craft room, which is currently under construction. I am walling off a piece of my craft room to make another bedroom. And um, so my craft space is getting smaller. But that's okay. That's okay. We're going to roll with it. Actually, it's really working out well. Um, it was a long, skinny, narrow room. And now we're walling off a part of that room. So my Cricut station used to be down this way, but now it's down this way. So I really um, am just losing square footage. I'm not losing anything else. So everything else is just a little more condensed, which is okay because it's all around me now, you know. So, um, so that's exciting. It's still under construction. You see bags and stuff hanging, um, things like that. I, excuse me. Oh my goodness, how rude. Hence the coffee. Having a nice cup of coffee in my, yeah, in my Boston mug. Can you see it? Boston. I am from New England. I'm actually from New Hampshire, but. Mm. So, <clears throat> I wanted to take a break from moving and organizing and hammering and bending and all that in my craft room and bring you a little Dollar Tree haul. It's almost all Valentine's, so we got to go get our Valentine's things, people. Christmas is over, and if you want to decorate uh, for Valentine's, it's out at the, at the Valentine's store, at the Dollar Tree now. So I'm going to show you what I have picked up this year for this Valentine season. Now, if you've been watching me for any amount of time, you'll know that I like to um, make the kiddos things with my crickets. For Christmas, I made them all, uh, you know, those big white bells that the Dollar Tree was carrying. I put all their names on those for an ornament, and then I made them the ball, the Christmas balls that were hollow, empty for crafting, that unscrewed at the top, um, and they were a cool shape. I pulled uh, cocoa in those with marshmallows and put their names on all. Anyways, I always like to do that. So I saw, I am so sorry. Oh, excuse me. It's not the company. It's that I've been working out in my craft room until midnight the night before. And then, um, I'll, I don't know, two days anyway. So I picked up these treat sacks and you get three pieces in a bag, in a package. And what they are is little canvas drawstrings and they have the little heart already on them. I don't even have to iron that on because that's already on there. But what I am going to do here, let's open one. What I want to do with this is I want to take the back where it's plain isn't that cute that's just so cute I want to put with my Cricut I want to put tic-tac-toe on the back of my bags and their name probably down here because this part will be cinched but a name and then I pick so I picked up two I picked up five packages of these and they also came in pink and I picked up two packages of these oh they're calling them table scatter one of the uh staples in here got me they're calling it table scatter but they're just little plastic I'm gonna use them as tic-tac-toe markers right that's why I got two colors so I'm gonna do X's and O's and I'm going to put those in here and cinch it up. And they have a Valentine tic-tac-toe game. So that's what I'm going to do with these little Valentine's bags. But aren't those cute? 
you could really do anything. These come out for Easter too, I think. I don't know if I saw them out for Christmas, but I may not have, I could have overlooked them. I've got a yard. Oh my goodness. What does that mean? Maybe I need oxygen. Like, you know how they say if you um, haven't taken any deep breaths for a while, it makes you yawn. That's what I heard. Okay. So that's what I picked up for a little craft. I will probably put some of these in my um, store, too, and sell these for Valentine's. But we'll see how they come out first. That was my idea when I saw those. And then, trash is on this side now. And then I picked up some of these Valentine stickers. They're wooden. And they have little uh, dot sticky tabs on the back. And I just thought that the little wooden hearts were good sizes to either trace or to use. Um, this one looks like it's falling out of place. But I just picked those up because I figured for 10 pieces for a dollar, I'm sure I can find something to do with them. So I picked those up. And then I picked up. Um, these also are wooden hearts. I'm trying not to yawn. I don't think I've ever, ever done a video that I've yawned so. Um, I picked up these little chalkboard hearts and they're backwards. They call them gift tags. Little chalkboard gift chalkboard tags with jute cords. My cat is under the table. Milo, come up here and show yourself. My cat is under the table and she's doing this with my shirt. If you see it, she's <laughs> and she's just making me feel like, all right. Um, anyways, back to the chalkboard, the little chalkboard hearts. And I think these are adorable. So I don't know. I don't have anything in mind, but I'm going to probably do something, um, Valentine's day ish with those, if nothing else, but I think they would make good gift card, gift tags too, though. And then I picked up um, a wooden heart. There was only the one. They have lots of crosses, lots of circles. Um, but this just one little heart showed up. And I have one already in my stash. But I really love this chunky, these chunky shapes. So when I saw this, it's Valentine's. So I said, okay, I need that in my life. It's the only one left. And it's waiting for me. So I picked that up. And then this really, it was in the crafter square section. But keep watching because I have a craft that I'm going to do using these. Um, and this is just the wood dowels. You get 15 pieces of them. They're six inches long. And um, I just thought those were a good... Um, thickness they're all the same and I thought that was a good little stick to use in an upcoming project that I have that also is going to be with using these if you can see where I'm going I don't know if you can but um, I also picked these up you get six mini round bowls and that's not bad for a dollar these are great you know when you're entertaining you can put your my cat, <laughs> maybe you'll see your paw. If you're entertaining, uh, you can put olives and pickles or little different cheeses or whatever. She's not gonna do it now. But, um, so I picked these up to use with these dowels in an upcoming craft. And then I already, if you watch me, I already used this in a video craft, but I hadn't hauled it yet. So that's why it's open. But I bought this, oh, I love this, Sweet Berry Garland. It's not called Sweet, I call it Sweet. But it is um, nine feet long and it's just precious. It's little pink sparkly. Now I'm using this for Valentine's Day. Can you see it? 
but it's really going to be great for Easter as well. And that's why I wanted to tell you about this. They have these now in all the pastel colors, even purple, which I don't know. It's not a light purple, so that wouldn't be considered pastel. Maybe it would, but it's a darker purple. But And they have red for Valentine's, the pink. Um, so if you're interested in the pit berries, I'm going to tell you, I used to spend a fortune for these pit berries. Um, I'm saying go Dollar Tree. I'm loving what they are putting out. So go get some pit berries for Easter if you want. And I haven't seen Easter at my Dollar Tree yet, but I do watch a friend, Dollar Tree Hauler, and her, she's already hauling Easter. Uh, she lives in like Ohio, but she is already hauling Easter. So go grab your valentine's day stuff before it's gone because it will be you know how that works all right i just have a couple more things from dollar tree that i'm going to show you i'm trying not to be one of those loud sippers like this <laughs> okay that was a little obnoxious and that's what i'm trying not to do I do have to say I watch somebody on YouTube that does um, drink coffee and they vlog and I'm not going to say who but um, one of so I can't say the so this person drinks very loud and gulps and swallows very loud and sometimes I have to turn my volume down, really, because I just, it bothers me. You know how little things, like, I don't like the sound of um, sandpaper, but I have to use it. All right, so this one is new, I believe. Correct me in the comments below if it's not, but to me, this one is new this year. And what's new about it is this dangly thing. I think they had these like this in both the pink and the red. In prior years but to me um, this one with the little dangly heart floating there in the middle is what's new to me about it and so I am going to um, change this up a little but I love that I'm gonna leave that little floating heart right in the middle of this and I'm going to just change up the uh, red glitter heart part of it I'm gonna just redo it so um i haven't really figured out how yet but i have some ideas coming and this might be one of them right here i found this i love this it's got the red truck it's backwards or upside down it's got the red truck all over it and i just think that's so cute so um i really like it <laughs> but i don't really go anywhere that i can wear a scarf i mean i go to church and wear scarves there but i'm not going there to be honest with you right now because of covid so i am just happy watching it on tv and so um valentine's will be way over so i might you know combine it with this wrap it around this i don't know who knows keep your eyes out though so that's all I have from the Dollar Tree um, for Valentine's. But I have one other thing that I want to show you that I was looking for at the Dollar Tree and I couldn't find it. And I happened to find it at Walmart cheaper. So don't always just, you know, if you can't find what you're looking for at the Dollar Tree, always go to the Dollar Tree first, I say. Because chances are you're going to find it the cheapest at the Dollar Tree. The quality is not going to always be the same. In this case, it doesn't matter. The quality is perfectly fine. But... Because I had to go looking elsewhere, I was able to find what I was looking for at the Dollar Tree. Go ahead, Milo. Put your paw up there. People don't want blank air. Okay, so she's driving me crazy down there. I bought these at the Dollar at the Walmart, and they were ninety-seven. No, ninety-eight cents. 98 cents and I was looking for them at the Dollar Tree because I either missed them coming out 
or they haven't hit my Dollar Tree yet. But I was looking for them, and I know this year they also come with a hollow heart, much like this on a stick, only not that big. But how cute are these? Just to even stick in your little house plants or whatever. But I did pick up, and how many did I get in here? I got five. Do I? Looks like it. Five of these hearts. I don't know what the Dollar Tree package had, but these were 98 cents. So I just wanted to show you, always go check the Dollar Tree first. That's what I like to do for everything. And, you know, they sell brand name cleaning products and even some brand name food. So I like to go there first and get everything on my list. And then what I can't get on my list, I go elsewhere for. So, and that... Um, I'm there anyway. I might as well get my baggies, my tin foil, things like that, um, that I need very little of in my life. And I'm already there. So I wasn't going to haul this because it's boring, but I pick up my tissues there. These are Scotties. They're perfect. No, you know, I pick these up at the Dollar Tree whenever I see them. So yeah, try the Dollar Tree first and whatever you can get at the Dollar Tree, why not? And then whatever is left on your list, then you can go elsewhere. And that's how I found these little hearts. So, okay, well, that'll do it for this Dollar Tree haul. Thanks for letting me yawn. I'm so sorry. Um, I'm not good at editing out in the middle yet. So I wouldn't be able to take those yawns out. I can clean up the end or the beginning, but I don't know how to do it in the middle yet. And um, so back to school because Christmas is over and all my orders are slowing down. And I need to get back to school and learn more um, all about this little business and the internet. But until I see you all the next time, run and get the valentine stuff that the dollar tree has because it won't be there long like i said they're putting out easter so this is a great time to give me a thumbs up and if you wouldn't mind sharing this video so i am going to do a giveaway on when i get to uh, i'm not going to tell you i'm not going to tell you because i i haven't really finalized all the details so i'm just going to backspace there um, working on the next giveaway though trust me and i will see you in the next video and maybe i won't be so tired so have a great today's thursday have a great thursday night and i hope you have a great weekend maybe i'll see you for a craft all right, be safe, wear your mask. Bye now.